do you want to live? Hi, good evening. Uh, do you have a reservation? Uh, yes, for two under Tierney. All right. If you could just follow me, please. to miss this, but, uh, hey, you're looking good. What are you doing here? What the hell is this? It's called a check. You take it to the bank. No, I'm not an idiot. idiot. Is this the way you're going to play it? I don't like you going through my stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a huge check, a huge check made out to you from Philip Spaulding. What was it for? Was it for a little work you did for him? Were you lying at an arbitration meeting, maybe? Well, if I told you no, would you believe me? This is a huge chunk of change. So you got it because why? You lied, and now, now Philip gets to have custody of Zach, and everybody's a winner, right? Everybody except me and Harley, of course, especially Harley. Do you think I would go that low? Give me one reason why you wouldn't. Because I'm your little sister. So what? So I'm your brother. What? I'm an easier target. No. Philip was dumb enough to give me the money after the fact, and I was smart enough to take it. End of story. Oh, okay, so that's what? He's just a big old grateful chump, and that's, that's it? Nothing more to it? Yeah, there's nothing more to it, so don't make anything of it. <laughs> really? Five figures? Five figures buys a whole lot of bulls. So what? You still don't trust me? You don't believe your little sister? <laughs> believe me now? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I can't believe I was so stupid. History of heart attacks. He had one the night before Zach was born. I didn't know. Yeah, well, I did. Of course, did I think about that before I decided to stick it to him the way we did? No, no, of course not. Well, isn't this cozy? Well, they never recovered from the first attack that he had. He's, he's always been so strong, you know, like the force of nature. Well, he's just human. As hard as that is to believe sometimes. They think I'm dying. Make sure they keep thinking that. Is there any change? No. And at this point, uh, it's not a good sign.
Reva. Are you all right? I, uh, I dozed off and I had an awful nightmare that... that I was still in Richard's room and I was using the message board, only... this time I wasn't just pointing to the words yes and no and please, but to the word murderer. It's okay. It was only a dream. I feel like I'm still in it. You're not. You're awake and you're safe. Am I? Because why would I have a dream like that if somewhere deep down inside of me I didn't believe that I was a murderer? Who knows, Reva? Dreams are hard to interpret. You know, when I was a, a teenager, I used to dream about stealing cars, but that didn't make me a car thief. Well, after the doozy I just had, I wish I were dreaming about stealing cars. You listen to me now. The thing that's gotten you through this so far is that you know in your heart, deep down inside, that what you did for Richard was right. I'm starting to wonder. Well, don't. Did you... Talk to Ross today? Yeah, actually, I just got off the phone with him. He, uh, he said he's been trying to track us down since we left him at the courthouse this morning. It really is a beautiful ring, isn't it? I'm glad we were able to get it back for Cassie before someone else bought it. Well, hopefully, she'll be in a place to accept it one day. Yeah, well, we've got a little something known as a trial to deal with first. Not necessarily. Ross said the DA will consider this deal, that you plead guilty to manslaughter. And you'll get off with a shorter sentence. Off? Two to five years. As opposed to 15 to 30 if you're convicted on second-degree murder charges. Some deal. Ross also said that if we take this deal, there won't be any trial, which is a good thing, which mean, means less publicity. You won't have so many wackos and extremists coming out of the woodwork to make your life even more difficult than it already is. And if I don't take the deal, I go to trial. And we fight like hell, and we win. Reva, you know the support you've got on this. Yeah, well, we already discussed that. All the support in the world isn't going to make any difference to a jury. You let Ross worry about the jury. Your, your only job is to stay strong and stay focused so you can decide what to do. If I take the, the DA's deal, then I go to prison. And if I go to trial, I could do more prison time. Maybe the dream was a sign, you know. Maybe Cassie was right. And that what I did to Richard was a crime. Are you out of your mind? You're playing the role of a hooker? Who is the guy? And why is Eden meeting I him here? I don't know who he is, okay? He is the one who arranged the meeting. He said out of town. Next thing I know, he's in Springfield Towers. What can I do? Uh, say no. You know, I can't do that. I have to get something on Eden. It's the only way I'll get Zach back. I don't like it. It's too risky. I'm a cop. I can handle this. No, you're a suspended cop. If you want to get your son back, cut Itoro loose. It's safe, it's clean, and it's easy. You know I can't do that. Harley, look at your life. It's insane ever since you hooked up with this guy. I mean, for starters, what, you had the, the Danny Santos uh, murder case fiasco? Okay, look, he let that vendetta go. Fine, and what about Tory Granger? You guys burned down a motel, right? What? And, and what, you went into jail, and then, let's say, Eden August is in town now, and, uh, what, Philip is, is turning the screws and not giving your son back? And all because of who? Gus Itaro? I won't give him up, Frank. Harley, don't you see the pattern here? Yeah, I see the pattern. The pattern is that every time something goes wrong in my life, I blame the guy I'm with. You know, yeah, he drives me crazy. You don't think he drives me crazy? I could strangle him sometimes. But I've never felt this way before, Frank. I have to trust this feeling. This is too important to give up. Well, 
Do I trust you just instantly because you ripped up this check? The answer is no. Well, I'll rip up the whole bar then if that's what you want. It was a joke, Nikki. Yeah, look what you made me do here. Now I gotta get a roll of tape. I gotta spend an hour just putting this evidence back together. What evidence? It's evidence. Evidence of bribery. You would, you would convict me? Yes, I would convict you in a heartbeat, yes. Well, then you better get your roll of tape. Do you know, do you know what it is like not to be able to count on you? Do you know how that makes me feel, never knowing what you're gonna come up with ne next? Why? Why, why are you doing this to me? Could only imagine what Harley said when she saw that check. She didn't see it. If you walked away now, she would get her kid back. Well, then I would stick around and make sure that Philip Spaulding got his. Oh. So you're still open to the idea of revenge? No, it's called justice. Well, then let's get him together. We'll do it again, just like we used to, you and me, a team. It's like when we were kids. You know, I used to have this secret little nickname for us. Uh oh. You're gonna laugh. The Astando Twins. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, the Astando Twins, even though we weren't twins, right? Well, it didn't matter. Two kids as cool as us, nothing could stop us. Hmm. Well, I, uh, I, uh... Where are you going? This is Downdo twin. This guy right here is, uh... I gotta pay Philip... Philip Spaulding a little visit. It's Olivia. I'm here with, um, I'm here with Philip. Mm. Hey. Oh, so I see. Hey. How are you feeling? How does it look like I feel? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that this happened. This was just a really dumb mistake, right? It was just a joke going wrong. It's not. It's not a joke. We were, we were, we were just trying to annoy you. We were trying to make you yeah. jealous. We, I, I don't, I don't even know what we were after. But it, it, it look, it just, it went too far. It did. It, it was. Um, I was angry with you because you bugged my earrings, and we just tried to make you jealous. Yeah, this, I mean, we we staged that whole thing. We staged that whole clinch that you walked in on, and I, I was incredibly childish. But you know, like a lot of things that end up in disaster, it just sort of. It seemed like a good thing at the time, huh? Yeah, I, hmm. we, were, we were trying to shock you, not lay you out. Here I lay, shocked. Well, can we get you anything? A cigar and brandy. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you haven't lost your sense of humor. No, for some strange reason, what you two did doesn't strike me as funny. No, you're right, it wasn't. And we're gonna do everything we can to make it up to you. All right, you know what? We're just gonna have to think positively. Just gonna... That's a bigger joke than the one we tried to play on him. I'm just... Let me tell you something, you know what? Our... We're the ones that did this. You and I did this to him. Our little play acting, that's what put him in that bed. Okay, I know. And I hate that. I hate what happened to him. Maybe more than you do because it's my stupid idea to get back at him. But as far as the play acting is concerned, it wasn't that simple. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Because it wasn't all pretend, and you can't deny that. Okay. Look, it got a little out of hand. A little out of control oh, no, at the end there. didn't just get a little out of control, Philip. It got real. Olivia, my father is laying on a bed in there. I'm not going to have this Look, conversation. I'm not saying that I don't feel sick about what's ha happened to him with the result of him walking in on us. I'm just saying I'm not exactly sorry about what he walked in on. Miss Spencer, we'd like to see you again.
Hey, Phil. Got a little trouble in paradise? What the hell are you doing here? <sighs> what am I doing? Well, I called the Spalding Palace, and your butler said that you were at the hospital. And I just, you know, didn't know what kind of condition I'd find you in. Well, I'm sure you're disappointed. No, well, you know, just a smidge. What do you want? Well, uh, Alan's here, and... Yeah, he's here. He's having some tests. What do you want? Well, he's having some tests. How many times do I have to say it? What do you want? Well, I'll tell you. It's this. Why can't you see that this is something I have to do? Thank you. What are you doing? What happens if something goes wrong? Nothing will happen. You're absolutely right, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Frank, if you don't get your butt up out of that chair and get... What? You, you don't look. Just go, okay? That's got to be him. Get up and leave now. Like I said, I came for a meal. Eden August. Mr. Tierney. Greg, may I? You may. <clears throat> You're uh, not what I expected. No? No, oh, you're better. Much better. <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, a gift for someone. Sit down. Okay. So, how are you? You know, a lot's been going on for both of us. Your father told me that you had a talk with Holly. Yeah. It was pretty amazing, actually. She's understood everything that I've been going through lately. About Tony? Yeah, she helped me a lot. Sort of opened my eyes to some things. I'm glad. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I... I would have liked it if you'd come to me with whatever it was that was bothering you, but sometimes going to a neutral party it makes it easier to talk. Right. And we have had issues between us these past few weeks. No, no, it's not that. I mean, you've had your stuff to deal with and your legal problems. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, things haven't been so great. You pretty much thought of me as a murderer. Mom, I... It was hard, you know, it wasn't easy to hear you accuse me of denying Cassie the opportunity to have a last moment with Richard because of, because of my willfulness, because of being rash, because of going with my feelings. You do go on your feelings. That's why it hurt. Sweetheart, feelings can be so dangerous sometimes. Especially when you run from them. Is that what you and Holly talked about? She helped me see that I was kidding myself, thinking that I didn't love Tony anymore. And you do. I know, because we've talked about it. I know, I know, but after that, I just, I, I kept lying to myself. I was denying what I felt. I was denying my emotions. Well, sometimes you have to build up your strength in order to face that kind of honesty. But you've always had it. I did blame you for what you did to Richard, and I may never really be able to accept it, but at least I can say that you trusted in what you felt. I think it takes a lot of guts to trust your heart. And only a special kind of person can trust themselves that much. I do trust my feelings. 
But look what it's done, you know, not just to me, but to your brother and to your father. I may go to prison. I know. And I have a very difficult decision that I have to make tonight. You know, I... I can go to trial and risk spending the rest of my life behind bars. Or I can accept a plea bargain from the DA and spend less time in prison. Well, what do your feelings tell you about that? They're telling me that I need help. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. you and Philip are well matched. I feel very differently for Philip. He's doesn't take pleasure in power and, and uh, he's not a gamesman or a player, a tyrant like his father, whom I admire so, so much. Admire? Mm -hmm. Do you care about me? Passionately? Passionately? Is Philip more passionate than his old man? <laughs> Alan, I really couldn't say. I have to know something. Be honest with me. What do you want? Who do you want? This check, this payment to my sister. This only confirms everything I've ever thought about you. And none of it is good. You know what you're like, Gus? You're like a gnat. You know, gnats are always kind of buzzing around, getting in your face. Mm. Nothing really dangerous about it. Just annoying as hell. Yeah. You know, I don't really care who you are how many millions of dollars you have, but I'm gonna stay in your face. Whatever you do, wherever you go. Are you trying to threaten me? No, it's more like a little sneak preview. You know, because to you, to you, I might be just, uh, you know, a little gnat, but to the rest of the world, I'm a damn good cop. And like a good cop, I stay on my case and I chip, chip, chip away until something breaks or something gives. And it will, I guarantee it. Oh, it will. At the end of the day, Harley's gonna have her son back. Tell Big Al I said hi. They told me you were top of the line. <laughs> Who's they? All of them. It's amazing. A place this classy could make it in a podunk like Springfield. Well, you were the one who insisted on here instead of Chicago. Yeah. It's better for both of us. <laughs> uh, I ordered it. Thanks. So, what's a nice girl like me doing in a place like this? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody mentioned you having a sense of humor. Well, it helps in the podunks. Uh, what did they mention? That you, uh, deliver, as promised. Mm. Ah, to a, uh, to a special evening. Hmm. What exactly are we planning? I think you know. Well, why don't you tell me? I like hearing it. 
You really get into your work, don't you? My work? Uh -huh. Sure. Listen, why don't you tell me what you expect, and I can tell you what our evening will look like. I expect exactly what was discussed with your boss. <laughs> So Shane's not a part of this power? Well, he hasn't gotten back from camp yet, and this won't wait. Ross needs a decision that quick, huh? Yeah. Ross needs time to uh, work on a defense or work on a deal. He needs the lead time. Well, you need time too, Mom. Yeah, well, I don't have it, sweetheart. At least not now. But I will when I'm in prison. Don't talk like that, Reva. I can't believe it's come to this. Damage control, having to choose between the lesser of two evils. Hurting my family again. Hey, it's gonna work out. How? Look, Reed, your heart has always led you to the right place. Now, you, you, if you follow it in that courtroom and you tell it like it is, the jury's gonna understand and they will set you free. Josh? Well, I think I made my... My feeling's pretty clear at the courthouse this morning. You did what you did out of love. Now, if you take your cue from that and draw your strength from that, I think you'll make the right choice. Even though my dreams are telling me otherwise. Don't worry about what your dreams are telling you. You trust your heart. What about you? You haven't said much. What do you think? I don't know if you want to hear what I think. Tell me anyway. All right. I know that you trust your heart and all, but would you even be considering this deal if your heart wasn't telling you that maybe what you did was wrong? You want to know if I have doubts? Yes, I do. And they aren't new ones. I've had them from the very first moment Richard begged me to help him die. And I had them when I went into the chapel and asked God for guidance. And when I went back into Richard's room and saw that switch on and off. Are you still went through with it? Yes. Yes, I did. Because after seeing Richard's agonizing, helpless pain, I knew that my doubts weren't as strong as my need to do what Richard wanted me to do. To ease his pain. Mara, I may have doubts all my life, but I did what I did. And I do know why. My only concern now is what that decision has done to you and to the family. Darling. I just have to be sure. Billy, I mean, look what it's already done to my relationship with Cassie. It's not irreversible. You were the only one in that room with Richard when he died. You were the one that he trusted to do this thing for him. You know why you flipped that switch. And Donna, that took a lot of courage. Now, if you're ready to go before a jury and defend the need to do what Richard asked you to do, to defend it before God, before whatever press, whatever microphones are around, this family is ready to be there with you and for you 100%. Amen. Does that include you? So did I miss the cigar and brandy? Nothing that exciting. But I do want uh, you to do a favor for me. Sure. Anything. This little game that you two play, this play acting, I want it to remain our secret. Yeah. Look, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I just want to try to forget about the whole thing. Look, we, we know that we went too far with it, okay? Yeah. All we care about now is that you get better. Right. That's the job plan. And as far as job two is concerned, you don't have a thing to worry about. I will take care of the company. You don't need to worry about anything. You're going to have to let the division managers know what happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. No one 
is to know that I am in the hospital. If word gets out that I had a heart attack, our, our stock will plummet. No one is to know that I'm in here. Okay, well, fine, but what about family? You, you have a sister. <laughs> Especially not my sister. Right, easy, Tiger. We've got all night. Well, maybe for you, but I've got to get back to Chicago. I wonder where I was. So. Ooh, there's that they again. <laughs> Let's stop wasting time and do this, huh? Well, why don't we just do it someplace with a little more privacy? If this is only the beginning, I'm just gonna you know what? hands off, pal. How could I not support you, Mom? You always trust your heart. And how can I not love you? You're my mom. <laughs> I wish you could tell me what was right now. <laughs> I can't. That's up to you. But you had our proxy and all that goes along with it. Give me kids. Thanks, Billy. Let's go and get a cup of coffee and read. Couldn't ask for a more loyal crew. No. There's just, uh, you know, one missing. Cassie, I mean, I wish Cassie were here to help. I don't, I don't think she'd be real supportive right now. Yeah, well, you know, I can't put my family through another ordeal. My first thought is to protect all of us from the horror that is going to be that, that trial. And what's your second thought? to risk it anyway. But then I have to worry about what that might do to Cassie and, and the rest of her family. So what do you say? That I still don't know what to do. You just take this outside alone. Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you leave us alone? Is this guy a cop? No, 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 no. He's, 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 um, he's an ex-boyfriend turned stalker. Look, I'm getting that restraining order against you, Stanley. Now go. Just yeah. leave. That's what I'm doing. No. You, that's not necessary. Wait. He was putting his hand on your leg. He wasn't he was doing moving. anything that I couldn't handle, okay? And you know what? I was this close to getting something on Eden, and now I've got nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zack is even further away than ever. Thanks, Frank. Beautiful. Look who's here. Hi, darling. Yeah, I'll take them. Thanks. How are you? Oh. Are you feeling any better? Well, I am now that you're here. Well, good. I think I think maybe I should call Anne Alexandra then. And... Uh, no, no, no. That won't be necessary. All that would do is worry her. Grandpa. And, be and believe me, I'm going to be out of here in no time. You just wait and see. Are you sure you're feeling better? I've got an idea. There's a vending machine down the hall. Why don't you go down there and get some chocolate? <laughs> can you have chocolate? No, but you can. <laughs> I love you, Grandpa. Under no circumstance is Alexandra to know that I am in the hospital. Do you understand? All right. Okay. We won't tell anybody. That's fine. Good. Now, I'm very tired. Why don't you try and get some sleep? Oh, I will. I will. But will you two stay or are you going to go home? No. 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 I, we could stay. Uh, I was such a fool. Why? Oh, being jealous of you. Uh, to even think that you two might feel something for each other. That, that's absurd. Oh, great. Are you tailing me? Oh, no. Just had to make sure you didn't steal that chocolate bar. Can I just have... Uh oh, look at, look. It's got the little almonds, the little favorite. Favorite thing of mine with almonds. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Sad to hear about your grandpa. That's uh, 
Kidney stones, right? <laughs> no. Kidney stones? Heart attack. Mm. Right. Well, you know, when you're on the tennis court at his age, you should be careful. He wasn't playing tennis. He got mad at Olivia and Dad, and I guess it just happened. Must have been very mad. What'd they do? I don't know. I just... I really want my grandpa to get better and go home, and I want to help him, but he won't even let me call his sister. Oh, Auntie, um... Oh, Alexandra. Alexandra, right. Yeah, she right. lives in Europe. Well, why, won't, why won't he let you call? I don't know. He just won't. Hmm. People make the weirdest rules, don't they? Like, uh, don't take rings from jewelry stores, things like that. Right? Huh. Not that, I, you know, I don't want to mess with your grandpappy's commandments or anything like that, but, you know, sometimes you have to use your own judgment. Like, uh, if somebody's brother is sick, I think their sister should know. I think they'd want to know. to make a person-to-person -person call to uh, Alexandra Spaulding. Yes, it's her niece. She walked away from an empire, waiting for the perfect opportunity to take back her company. Joan Collins returns to television as Alexandra Spaulding. Won't they be surprised to see me? And she's about to get it on. Coming soon to Guiding Light on CBS, the number one daytime network. This has been Guiding Light.